Today we will be designing, 3D printing, and painting Stefano from PewDiePie's channel. If you don't know who Stefano is, he's a character in PewDiePie's Amnesia Let's Play series. And this was like, oh, five years ago. He's also appeared here and there on the channel in different video games, but mostly in Amnesia. And so a few days ago, I had the idea to 3D print him. Not sure why, but we're gonna do it anyway. So first, looking at Stefano, he is a miniature figure that you would find anywhere on a shelf or something. He's a little guy on a platform holding a sword, kneeling down with some robes on. So all I had to do was first off, design him. Now I have no idea how to make a 3D model of a person with super fine details, so what I did was this. I found various creations across the internet of different things that I'm just gonna compile together. And everything I use will be linked down below. So, starting off with this. For the main body, I used Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit some things so it doesn't look like Darth Vader. Now for Darth Vader, all I had to really do was patch some of the buttons on his main panel on his chest. I just put a triangle there that we're gonna sand down later when it's actually printed. And then from there, I found this on the internet. It's like a hooded figure. So it actually fit really well when I put it together. I put the head onto the Darth Vader thing and the cape sort of like seamlessly flowed. It was kind of nice. So all I had to do from there was make the arms. The arms, we don't want both of them sticking up like Darth Vader had his. We needed one to the side like this so that he could hold the sword that Stefano has. So I just played around with Tinkercad, which is the website I'm using, until eventually I was able to create something really good. All I did was rotate the wrist. And then the final step is finding a sword, which I found online as well. I had to shrink it down a lot. I'm pretty sure the original print was for like a life-size sword, so I obviously had to shrink that down a lot. But from there, that's it. We are ready to print Stefano. So for this one, we're gonna do four different prints and attach it all together with glue. We're gonna print the sword, both arms, and the body. So, let's begin. I started off with printing the sword, which turned out rather nice. So I gotta say, even though that was only printing for four minutes, it turned out really nice. Next up were the arms, which again, relatively easy. It took about an hour for both of them to finish printing. Okay, so arm one is done. I'm just gonna snag that really quick. So this is arm one. I don't know if this is the right or the left arm. I think this is the one that holds the sword, to be honest. So I'm just gonna put that right there with all the other supplies. So here we go. Two arms. They don't stand up. But that's okay. And then from there, the 11 hour print is all that was left, Stefano. So I just started the main print and the size that it's showing is the size that I think it should be. So in the meantime, while that's printing, I wanna show you something else I got for this because obviously Stefano isn't red. So I went to the store and I got some rather cheap paints. <laughs> They're acrylic paints, so we're gonna have to paint it ourselves. One is apparently gold, which looks more like a bronze. We might not even use this. And two is yellow. It's more of a brighter yellow, so we'll see how that turns out. But, but if they both turn out like crap, I will mix them together because that might look good, right? The time is 4.21 a.m. 4.21. Dang it, I missed 420. Anyway, the, the main platform is done. I'd say that's the perfect size. And now it's just doing the actual body now. We're getting Stefano's feet. Look at that, you can see his foot. So Stefano is done, time to remove him. Oh my god, how do I do this? <laughs> that took too much effort to do. So, <laughs> there he is, Stefano with no arms. I'm gonna have to take away those little weird stringy things on his arms. 
So now that we have printed Stefano's body, he's just a red hunk of plastic, but he looks pretty good. Next up was I had to sand him down. Some of the cape was a bit rough and the big triangle on his chest needed to get out. And some of his arms and legs look like a spacesuit because of Darth Vader. So I just sanded it all down. It didn't take too long. The triangle is basically gone now and it felt really smooth after that. So sanding Stefano down, um, it kind of worked, I guess you could say. A lot of the Darth Vader details are gone now, thank God. He still kind of looks like he's wearing some sort of clunky suit, but it's whatever. So for glue, I'm using Gorilla Glue. Probably should be using the Flex Seal family of products. Last time I made the mistake of getting this crap everywhere. Uh, accident- oh, that smells bad. Accidentally, I got it everywhere. At least this time, I'm painting over it anyway. So that's him, Stefano so far. Now next up, all I had to do was paint him. So I got some yellow acrylic paint and I just went to town. I painted him outside because I didn't want to, you know, the mess might have been too much. So now it is time we paint Stefano gold. I'm gonna test it out with uh, the sword here and then we'll see if we need to mix it at all. It's kind of a pale yellow, but it might actually work. So either yellow or a mixture. I think I'm just gonna go with plain yellow. Okay, just get a glob. Maybe I should have glued the sword already, but it's okay. Ah! I'm getting it on me! Glob, 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 glob. God, spray paint would have been so much better, but I mean, I couldn't find any. So this is what we're stuck with. Okay. Eventually it did start to rain, so I brought him inside and I forgot to glue the sword. Uh, so I glued it on, painted around it again, and you, it, it looks great. And so here is Stefano, the final product. It looks completely like him. The only thing I would say that's different about him is that uh, maybe the cape doesn't go all the way down and the platform is more angled than mine but I don't really care, it looks great. Stefano, I need some help, bud. I think my house is haunted. Oh, it's okay. All you have to do... <laughs> if... <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> now, one final thing I'm gonna be doing to him is I'm gonna write a little something on the bottom. 472, because this is my 472nd upload to Timeworks. Yeah. So you can barely tell that's there. Uh, so if we ever look back on Stefano and wonder, which upload was this? What is it, Stefano? Oh, it was 472, just look at the bottom. Stefano has a tattoo. So yeah, that is how I 3D printed Stefano. Wow. Now, I don't know how likely it is that any of you guys have a 3D printer, but if you do, I will leave everything in the description for you to use. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I might 3D print some stuff later on if you really want me to, but until then, Fly on, everyone.